Hello, this is Clint Halstead, and this is an introduction to uh, microprocessors uh, using a textbook called uh, Design Embedded Systems with Pit Microcontrollers with uh, Principles and Applications with Tim Wilm Schurst. So, um, this is going to be a continuation of the last lesson. In the last lesson, we learned about conditional branching, and we learned about this, um, this example called the bit set. So, it's the exercise uh, five. 5.1 and example 5.1. So we're going to go through exercise 5.1 right now. So exercise 5.1 says open a new project under the suggested name of BitSet. So bring up the MPLabX uh, program type or click the button new project. Okay, so we're going to do a new project. <clears throat> it's going to be a standalone project. Hit next. We're going to use the baseline microprocessors. Up here we can type PIC 16F84 16F I'm sorry, this should be mid-range. Okay, PIC 16F84A. There it is. Next Okay, normally we would be, if we're doing a hardware kit, we'd be using PIC kit 3, but right now we're going to use a simulator. So we click simulator. So we're going to do a simulation. And then we have to select a compiler. We're going to use MPASM because that's the assembly language compiler. And then we're going to use a suggested name in the exercise on page uh, 112 of the textbook. It says use bit set. Okay, so we're going to name it bit set. Now here's an important thing is, is is a uh, click set as main project because that's what I was doing wrong before is I wasn't setting it as my main project so click set as main project click finish and then it's going to set that as your main project okay and you can see all your other projects down here on the on the left these are all the other projects a ping pong project first project and then we have this one called bit set <clears throat> So the first thing we have to do here is um, we have to get some code. We, we have to know what type of code do we want. So let's, let's just create a new file. We're going to call it assembler file. We'll call it assembly file. Uh, next, and we'll just call it bit set. Um, main. I guess that's what we can call it. Bit set uh, main. So this will be the main program code. It, it'll have extension ASM. We'll just keep it in our default folder and we'll say OK. So now you can see if you click your source files you can see um, well let's see bit set Let's see, where did it put it? Oh, well, maybe there's nothing in there yet. Let's wait to uh, see if we can see the file a bit. Um, let's go grab some code. So what we need to do is we need to go to the Tim Wilmshurst website, embeddednowhow.co.uk, uh, and let's go click on Chapter 5. Now, in the book, there's no code for example 5.1. We have to build it ourselves. So in the book it says to actually go out and grab, uh, co copy the code from example 4.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the code from 4.5. We're going to highlight it. Control C to copy it. Or I guess you can right click and hit copy if you want. And then just right click and then hit paste. So we're just going to paste it right there. So now we have our code. We're going to rename this though. We're going to change the header. We're going to say this is the bit, bit set uh, code. And this is going to be uh, example 5.1 bit set code. I'm going to say um, from ping pong data move code. 
with this program moves push button switch values from port A to port B. This does the same thing. So let's let's change the uh, CWH. That's my initials. We'll just put the date. Don't don't forget to document your code. It's very important to always uh, document your code. The date. Now the first thing we have to do is so we're basically stealing some code from something else, and then we're going to modify it in order to get it to work. So first thing we have to do is we have to set the configuration register, all the stuff. Up here, this tells you what you need to do, but it actually isn't doing anything. It's just a comment. You can see it's actually in green, so it's not doing anything useful at this point. So let's go to our ping pong program down here. Source file, ping pong ASM. And remember, we did that in the ping pong program. So this is copy. Let's copy all of our stuff here. We'll hit copy. Come over here. It needs to be the very first thing that happens is set the configuration word. So we're going to paste. Now, this green, this config thing here, this you don't really need that. I just, I just put that there because that's a manual way to set the registers if you want. So this up here says you need the watchdog timer off. So let's make sure that that's off. That is off. Power up timer is on. Power up timer is on. Code protection is off. And then RC oscillator. So all those are correct. If you wanted the watchdog ti timer on, then you could just say on like that. But we want it off. If you wanted this one off, then you could turn that one off. So everything looks good. So let's save that. Um, let's see here. Yeah. All right. Source files. Yeah. Okay. My program should be under my source file here. I can't really understand why it's not. But uh, I guess I'll figure it out later. At least we have the program set over here and working. But it should be over here. Maybe it's not going to show up until we, we build the program or something. We'll, we'll just wait and see what happens. Okay, so we have our program. Now we want to change the main part of the program. Now notice the program in the book, <coughs> everything is the same actually up until this point. We still have this loop statement and we have all this. We just need to change this code here with with what we have in the book. <clears throat> now in the book, <clears throat> on page 112, we have to type bit clear f, okay, and then port port b three. Okay? The next instruction is bit test f, skip a set, port a, bit three. Uh, bit set F port B. Actually, let's let's hit some tabs up here just to make our code look nice and pretty. Port B, and then three, and then I'm going to skip a space because, um, yeah, the next part of this code is going to be exactly the same thing. Actually, it's just going to be. So I'm going to copy and paste it. These are just going to be all fours instead of threes. Okay? So that's it. That's, that's the code for the data move or the bit set program. Pretty simple. All right, so now let's compile this code and make sure and simulate and make sure it works. <clears throat> so actually that's going to be in the next video so it, I'm gonna go ahead and hit compile right here project is empty you need to add a file okay so let's go over here and add this file let's hit source we have this file here that's created we just need to make sure we add it add existing item bit set main ASM I must have done something wrong before okay now it's linked over here it's a good thing that happened because maybe it'll help you guys out when you're doing your program. But um, so now it's linked over here. It should always be over here. You should be able to see it. And you can minimize your other. These, these are other projects that you have here. Uh, that are, and this is your main project. 
and you always want to have some source code under there. So now it's been saved, now let's try to compile it. And it says load completed, zero errors. So now it's ready to simulate and I have a, another video, the next lesson is going to be on how to simulate this code to make sure it works. And uh, so I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.